All right, thank you all for answering that question. All right, next goes back to, we start with Linda again. This has a little statement with it. Economics 101 has for, a long, as it, for as long as it existed taught that reducing taxes improves the economy, raising taxes damages the economy. Would you reduce taxes? And if not, why not? Two minutes. We'll give you a chance to get your notes out. <laughs> You're gonna to have to speak off the cuff. All right. Yeah. First, 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 you might you might take a uh, a, a little. Uh, I, I'd kind of like to know each of your opinions on that statement about economics 101. Came from somebody out there. I didn't, nobody signs these. So uh, I'd, I'd like to know your opinion. Did you do you believe that by reducing taxes it stimulates the economy by raising it damages it? And then would you reduce taxes? So go ahead and start, Lenny. You got two minutes. There are some powerful um, statistics on taxation. Do I believe that reducing taxes? I believe that what helps people is prosperity. What helps people is times like the 90s when taxes were able to be reduced because the economy was going so well. What has happened is that in over the years is that the tax rate for the richest 1% of households dropped 57% between 1948 and 1999 and even more in subsequent years. And, you know, has your tax rate gone down that much? No, it's actually quadrupled in that time. So a lot, there's a lot of talk about tax relief and about tax reform. We all know that the best policy is based on taxing fairly and spending wisely. And that is always the best public policy. What Democrats have tended to favor over the years is tax equity. We have a lot of lack of tax equity in Wisconsin because of loopholes, for one thing that give the give 60% of corporations the opportunity or they don't pay taxes in Wisconsin. Um, that's a huge loophole that needs to be closed. 25 states have closed that loophole. 25 states and we have not. And it is not it is not just corporations or corporations that don't make money here. If 25 states can close that loophole, we can too. And one of the huge advantages would be that the taxes of small businesses would go down and our taxes would go down. The other thing that brings prosperity is things like creating jobs, things that, um, like improving transit. There are a lot of things that we can do at the state level in terms of job creation that will really help us return to a time of the 90s when frankly everybody is doing better. We need a strong middle class and the kind of things that my opponent often votes no on are the kinds of things that will help the middle class and create prosperity. Okay, thank you. That, that, Robin, back to the, the, first of all, do you, do you agree with that tenet of Economics 101 that um, reducing taxes helps improve the economy, raising damages, and would you work to reduce taxes? Uh, yes, I believe in Economics 101. Um, I think Democrats and Republicans uh, have both agreed that raising taxes usually stifles economic growth and cutting taxes usually encourages economic growth. So let's be very clear about that. Um, I didn't hear Linda's answer to that, but I'll have to assume that it wasn't in agreement with mine. Uh, I do not think we need to increase taxes, and I am pledging here today I will not vote to raise taxes. I have been as clear as I possibly can be since I was first running for the assembly in 2004. Wisconsin's tax burden is one of the worst in the country. Um, the only reason that we have dropped from number six to number ten is because of Republicans in the assembly fighting against all of the tax increases that Governor Doyle and the Democrats have proposed since he was elected in 2002. That's a fact. The Wisconsin Taxpayers Alliance has said that is the reason we are dropping in the rankings. It's because other states are increasing taxes and Wisconsin is holding the line. Now, if you want to grow Wisconsin's economy, I think it's a pretty simple answer. You allow the money to stay in the private sector so that entrepreneurs can hire more people so they can actually earn a living and pay the taxes into the state of Wisconsin to help run our government. That's what the answer is in my view. Uh, we see around the country that states who have a low tax climate are the ones who are growing the fastest. 
states who have a high tax climate are the ones who are declining. Um, I can talk more about it, but there's actually facts from the Tax Foundation which shows that cutting corporate taxes is the biggest driver of increasing wages for workers because they choose to either spend it on profits for their shareholders or profits for the workers, and I think it usually goes to both. Okay, thank you, Robin. Okay, Corey, again, 